We're closing out 2022. How would you summarize the Sugar Show for 2022? Knocked out Pedro Munoz, knocked out Peter Yan. It was a good year for the Sugar Show. 2-0. and Can't complain. If I had to guess what, what's taken so long, Henry seems like he's ready to go. He may be 5'3", but he's, he's, he's ready to go. I think uh, Aljo is holding it up. If I had to guess, I don't know. Trying to make the most out of being champ because he knows it's not going to last much longer. He ain't getting past the Sugar Show. So, because he ain't going to be champ for long. So the Schmo knows you're working on your grappling right now. If you were to assess it at this very moment, Aljamain. I think Aljamain is one of the you know some of the best grappling in MMA right now. Henry is a wrestler more so. More so, you know, Aljo will take your back, body triangle, and, and, and that's a lot more dangerous to deal with than than Henry trying to lay on top of you. I don't know. If Cheeto wins, a hundred percent me versus Cheeto uh, happens. How would he win? You know, that was vicious. Yeah. Who should Sean O'Malley's top three prospects heading into 2023? Top three guys you got your eye on. Any weight division. Well, you can mix and match. Yeah, the, the stars, the obvious, the biggest, me, Sugar Show. Um, number two, it's hard to say. I would have said Patty, but after that last performance, um, that sounded bad. But, you know, Patty showed some holes that um, I don't know if he's going to be that big superstar that we think. Hamza has shown, has proven he beat Gilbert Burns in a crazy fight. Uh, you know, Shmo, I don't really watch too much UFC, but I do know, uh, I'll say me and me and Hamza, if I had to say it. You said three. I don't know, three for, for Patty. Um, and, and they want to continue to build him, so we'll see. His next guy. You think he needs to be calling people out, or you think his approach, just taking it as it is, is the right way to go? He's going to... Wait till the UFC says, hey, here's here, here's who we're thinking. UFC's guiding his career, and, you know, they, they want to see him win. We appreciate your inspiration for this bad boy right oh. here. I usually hit those right after I get a dub on Call of Duty, so that means I'll be hitting that thing a lot. He's a dub hitter. Final message for all the Sugar Sean O'Malley fans out there worldwide. I say, hey, we're going to be the champ. Just be patient. we have got to beat a couple guys up. And it's finally here, 2023. My next fight will be for the title, and I will win, and I will be champion forever.